Hi, this is Doug Burks with Security Onion, and in this short video, we're going to configure OSEC and ELSA in just a few minutes. So I've got my Security Onion virtual machine, and I'm going to double click Setup. I'm going to enter my password, and I'm going to click, click Yes, Continue, and skip the network configuration because we've already done that part. We're going to choose Advanced Setup because we only want this box to be a server. It doesn't need to be a sensor. So we just choose Server and click OK. And we're going to create our username and password that we're going to use to log into ELSA. So we'll create our username and set an email address and a password and confirm the password. We're now prompted for which IDS engine would you like to use. Now, because this is just an OSEC only installation, this doesn't necessarily apply here, but if you end up adding a network sensor later, then it will inherit the settings from this master server. So we'll choose Snort and we'll click OK. And again, this is for IDS rule set, which doesn't apply in this particular demo, but uh, this setting would get inherited by uh, any network sensors that you later add to your deployment. So we choose that and click OK. We don't need salt for this demo, so we'll disable salt, but we do need ELSA, so we'll enable that. And we'll say yes, proceed with the changes. So now the setup wizard is configuring OSEC, and it's configuring all of our other services. So OSEC is going to be configured to accept uh, connections from any OSEC agents that you then add. And uh, in addition to the standard OSEC alerts, so as OSEC is collecting those logs from those OSEC agents, it's alerting on those and we'll be able to see those OSEC alerts inside of ELSA. You'll also have access to the raw logs themselves. So by default, we enable the OSEC log all option so that all logs received from all OSEC agents are sent to ELSA and we can then search and query those however we want to. So the setup wizard should be just about finished. It's doing the final configuration for ELSA. Once it's finished, we'll then be able to log into ELSA using the username and password that we just specified. And then we'll go into ELSA and we'll be able to see all of the logs that we're already collecting. So we double click ELSA. And we proceed. We enter the username and password that we just created. All right, so as you can see, we have our ELSA web interface. And ELSA is still in the process of initializing, so we don't see any logs yet. But if we give it a minute and refresh, we should eventually see logs come in. And now you see we have 387 logs indexed and 775 archived. So now what we can do in ELSA is we can say, show me all of your logs and group by program. So we're going to submit that query. So now as you can see here, we've got 371 OSEC archive logs and 8 OSEC logs. So remember that OSEC is collecting logs and based on the OSEC rule set it's generating OSEC alerts. So those are the 8 OSEC alerts that we have 
and those are, were generated from these raw OSEC logs coming from the OSEC agents. So let's first take a look at our OSEC alerts. So we click on OSEC and we now see our eight OSEC alerts. So we see things like login session open and a bunch of integrity checksum changed alerts. So if we had a lot more and, and we didn't want to necessarily page through all of our hundreds or thousands of alerts, uh, we could of course add some search keywords to our query and we could say, hey, just show me login. So that just returns the logs that contain the word login and Elsa does automatic highlighting. So that's pretty cool. So those are our OSEC alerts. We can go back to our program tab and we can click on OSEC archive. So now we want to see these are all of the raw logs coming in from the OSEC agents. And we have 383 of them. Elsa by default is only going to show us the first 100. We could actually increase that by changing our limit to 400. And notice this has changed and we've received some more in the meantime, so let's change this to 500. So now we're showing all 407 of our OSEC archives. So we can page through here and we can take a look at these. And again, we can find something interesting uh, or look for a specific keyword. So just show me the logs that contain the word root. So we've now filtered down from 407 down to 117. And again, Elsa does automatic highlighting of those search terms. That concludes this video. Thanks for tuning in.